My name's Ron. I came to Australia about 10 years ago. I was an international student when I just came here. I became a permanent resident a few years ago and now I'm an Australian citizen. I come from a very traditional Chinese family. My dad is a police officer, he's still working, and my mom, she was an accountant. She has already retired. Uh, my parents, they always tell me um, when you do something, you should never give up very easily. The reason I came to Melbourne, well, that decision wasn't even made by myself. The agent who was handling my visa application, um, actually she gave me two choices, either to go to Sydney or to go to Melbourne. After I spoke to my parents, well, they thought Sydney was a little bit overpopulated and uh, Melbourne has got very great culture and also is a fashionable city. So they thought, well, Melbourne was the you know, better choice for me. When I just came to Australia, I was working as a kitchen hand in a restaurant. I had to work so many hours just to cover my school fees and living expenses uh, because I made an agreement with my parents. I would you know, do everything myself, pay everything myself. There was one day that I could never forget. You know, I, was, I was very sick and um, I, was, I was having a very high temperature. I was feeling so unwell. My body was sore. That was like two hours before my shift. Um, I really wanted to take a day off and just have some rest at home, you know. Um, but I, th I thought, well, it's only like two hours before my shift. I didn't want to let the boss down. I didn't want to make him think that Chinese people are unreliable. So, you know, I still decided to go to the workplace and to do my shift. Nursing is great. And um, I really enjoyed when I was working as a nurse. My parents were really happy when I was a nurse too because they thought uh, nursing could give me a very stable income. Plus, when you are helping other people, you feel great. However, having a business has always been one of my dreams and um, I really wanted to chase my dream. As my business grows, um, I think the biggest challenge is always the money. Um, because you need a very big budget to invest into your business, then you can grow it. I just had to work extra time to cut down the cost. So I was pretty much just, you know, having three or four hours sleep every day for like three years or four years. It was a hard time. 